To begin the disassembly of your Motorola Droid X, you will first need to remove the battery backdoor cover. Simply push down and it will come right off. Once you do that, use the battery release pull tab and release the battery from your phone, as well as your micro SD SIM card. Next, using a safe open pry tool, you will need to release the top and bottom clip brackets from the phone. Simply use the safe open pry tool to separate the clips holding the top bracket in place as well as the bottom bracket. Once this is complete, you will need to use a Torx 5 screwdriver to remove four screws two on the bottom and two on the top of your phone. You can find a Torx 5 screwdriver from InjuredGadgets.com. Next, you will need to remove two more Torx 5 screws on the back of your phone. Next, using your safe open pry tool, you will need to separate the housing from the back panel assembly. Simply run your safe open pry tool along the sides, separating the clips holding your back assembly and your touchscreen digitizer in place. Next, using a Torx 3 screwdriver, you will need to remove the following 9 screws from the phone. Please note right here that there generally is a white antenna wire coaxial cable. You will need to disconnect it from the right side, otherwise likely when you pull it up it will break. We received this phone from a customer and unfortunately they actually did break their coaxial cable during their own repair. We actually went in behind them because they were unable to complete this repair. Be very careful during that process to not rip that cable. Using a safe open pry tool, you will want to go ahead and disconnect the following two cables as shown here. The second cable is hold in, held in by a jawbone connector. Flip the jawbone connector to the right. This will enable you to pull the cable under it out of the phone. With those two cables released, gently pull the motherboard up slightly. You will notice that there is an additional flex cable under the motherboard still clipped in as shown right here. You will need to disconnect this cable from the motherboard using a safe open pry tool. Once this is disconnected, you can go ahead and separate the motherboard from the phone. You will need to pull the camera out of the housing to separate the motherboard from the phone. Please don't forget the top white antenna coaxial cable or you will rip it most likely if you do not disconnect it. With the motherboard now removed, you will use your Torx 3 screwdriver to remove the following four screws on the bottom metal bracket housing of your phone.
With the motherboard now removed, you can go ahead and disconnect your digitizer flex cable from the phone. Please note, it is held in with a jawbone connector, so you will need to first unclip the jawbone connector, pushing it upwards in order to release the digitizer flex cable. Please note, this cable is held in with a black adhesive tape. You will need to remove this black adhesive tape to access these two flex cables. Once this cable is released from the jawbone connector, you will slightly pull up on the black FC logo of your Motorola Droid X. Once you pull up on this, you can go ahead and slowly release the flex cable from the phone of your touchscreen glass digitizer. Please note, it is held in with adhesive, so you will need to gently pry up on it in order for it to come off of the phone's back housing. Next, you will need to go ahead and remove one last Torx 3 screwdriver. This is the last screw holding your touchscreen glass digitizer and LCD assembly in place. Once that screw is removed, you can go ahead and separate your LCD with the back metal housing from your touchscreen glass digitizer and housing. To separate your touchscreen glass digitizer from the housing, use a hot air heat gun or a blow dryer to loosen up the adhesive along the sides of the touchscreen glass digitizer and housing assembly. Once adequate heat has been applied to the front housing, use your safe open pry tool and run it along the sides, separating your touchscreen glass digitizer from the housing panel assembly. If needed, use additional heat to loosen up the adhesive. Once this is complete, you can now go ahead and install your brand new touchscreen glass digitizer to your housing. For parts, repair tools, and full service repairs, please visit us at InjuredGadgets.com.